Hello, a very warm welcome to Dodger's Trips. I'm Dodger. So we've just been out for a meal and it's Indian Independence Day today. So all the restaurants are decorated with the green, white and orange Indian national colours. So I thought it'd be nice to take a little walk down the main street here in Candlelim on Indian India Independence Night. So I've left Sandy at the restaurant eating her ice cream. I've nipped back to the apartment for the camera. Uh, and we're just, this is a very popular spot here on the left hand side called Fisherman's Cove. Not sure, but from what we've seen, it seems to be the most popular restaurant in uh, Candlelim. Maybe the name indicates it specializes in seafood, which is a going speciality really being next to the sea but we'll just take a walk over the, the over the road there jambalaya bar and restaurant on this side we've got the bending bamboo i've never actually seen anybody use that apart from someone a motorbike rider came to collect the takeaway from there across the other side of the street a mango grove which we spent most of the first week in that place Loads of tattoo parlours, left and right tattoo again. Annapurna in that mountain in the Himalayas, bar and restro. On the right here, got two fake shops, original fakes and mint boutique, all selling the Gucci. Uh, Yves Saint Laurent. Louis Vuitton, all them sort of like accessories, belts, sunglasses, handbags. And this here is Newton's biggest supermarket in Candlelin. But we won't say anything about that shop because I haven't got much to, nice to say about it, so best not to say anything. But over the other side of the road, Grub Soul, Vado 15, seafood, kitchen grill and bar all the lights are coming on now tomato again on the left there tomatoes garden kitchen and bar that is one of india's biggest chains i think of uh, food organizations they operate like a takeaway delivery service like deliveroo but they also oh there she is she sat at the sat at the table now and this is Uptown Kitchen and Sport Bar, Candlelim, Valet Parking, free Wi-Fi, live music and all the balloons and all that. Well, hello, uh, are you coming? So she's, she's coming now to join us and we'll have a walk down. Tomatoes and every place seems to have like live music on an evening. Okay, thank you, fine. Oh! Thank you Unless you collect it on the way back. No, it's okay. Yeah, Alright. So, although this seems to be the most populated place for the restaurants down to the left there is Candlelin Beach Road. So, as the name suggests, that will take you straight down to the beach. And we've already been down there. I think what I'll do. Maybe have a little walk down to the beach, beach road, because it was quite a long way up there to hit anything else really. This is the main centre of Candlelin, which is just a village, not a town. So we get across the road here. So we'll go see everything, all the stalls and shops and everything will be all lit up now. This time of night, this is, this is when the mosquitoes come out. So we'll make it sharpish and uh, yeah, we'll see what's going on. So we've noticed when we sat in the restaurant that we've been India Independence Day. Very busy people out in the finery, dressed in the finery, 
family meals out. All the usual leather, uh, t-shirt, lots of bags, slippers, jewellery, beachwear. Very nice, all lit up. Might get showered after, don't like me filming in a shop, I don't know. Seabreeze Beach Resort there. Yes, hello, sir. Oh, hello again. Nice, yeah. to, nice to see you. Hello. <laughs> Shri Om. Shri Om. Tattoo Studio. Yeah, that's the guy that... The first person we went to ask about a tattoo for Sandy. I might be repeating myself on some of this stuff, who knows. But uh, for four grandchildren's names on the sort of rear of a forearm. He was, he was asking £110. And we said, you what? She had a coloured butterfly, a large coloured butterfly on her wrist. And that only cost £50 in the UK. So, we said, no thank you. <laughs> Give us your best price. And suddenly you come down from £110 to £30. But, can you trust, you know? My daughter is my angel. Right. Which one? <laughs> no. I think Callan Goot. I think Callan Goot was maybe better for the t-shirt, you know, the price and everything like that. There's less competition in there, yeah. Tattoo, tattoo palette over the road. Eyesight. You can even get your teeth whitened while you go to the beach, I suppose, if you've got false teeth. No, there's loads of dentists on this street as well, beach road, so we'll see. In season, dolphin cruise, party cruise, yes. Let's just get your name. Okay. Olav. Olav, tours and travel. So if you're down Candling Beach Road, you want to book an excursion. Right, this is quite a grand plate, European looking place really, with the columns and every, everything. White plate. Oh! Sorry. Come here, come on. Sorry. Didn't even see him. Give, it, uh, give him a bit of pizza here. You can. There's no other dog. No, the mic there. Alright. Like as if you didn't see him. Yeah, they'll catch him, don't they? Oh. Yeah. Do you want some pizza? Pizza? pizza. Just give him one piece. You don't have to give him all, do you? Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. Yeah. Oh, bless him. Yeah, okay. Um, that was me too, but he's but he yabbering. I didn't even see where I was walking. Walked into a dog. The dogs are that used to just laying it road and not getting run up or anyone hitting them. And I've bloody walked into a dog. I'm glad it wasn't a cow. Otherwise, I'd be get, been getting battered by sticks and stones. No. <coughs> There's a, another dog here. But he looks after it, doesn't he? Obviously, that lives outside that restaurant all the time, that dog. Yeah. Gets the drinks of water and he'll probably get a load of food at the end of the night. Yeah. yeah. So it's getting a little bit dark down here. Maybe the crowds are thinning out a bit now. Nobody going to go to the beach on, on night. So let's see. We'll just go down to Dendis Beach Road and then we'll call it a day. 
wasn't quite what I was anticipating having a walk. Mind you, when we walked back, we walked down to the bottom of the beach road and then I'll pick it up again on the main road and walk down the, the other side of the road and pick up some new restaurants and bars. A lot of places just are not open at the, at the moment because it's out of season. A man in a shop in Collingwood yesterday he was saying, I said, oh, we've been told it's the worst monsoon for years. And he said, yeah, worst monsoon in 15 years. Apparently, normally it starts in June. But they didn't get any rain at all in June this year. And then it's all come in July and August. Oh, yeah, look at the colour of the sky. I don't know if you can catch that. Pinks and mauve. Mauve, is it what you call it? Yeah, shall we call it a, call it a day? We won't go any further down. We're not going on the beach, shall we? And then we'll just pick it up again on the main road again. Well, we don't know what. A load of birds, loads of birds of prey hanging about down there. Don't want to be going somewhere dodgy with a camera like that. Yeah. We're back out on the Candling Road, we just took a very daring detour, different route back. We went all around the, the back of these buildings and houses, dark alleyways. Eventually, with the help of this lady and her daughter, managed to. Hello. Hello, my friend. No moss, stalls, old elephant bags. Busy st bu stalls are busy. Busy. Oh, she's looking at something, some jewellery. No. It's busiest we've seen these stalls, isn't it? We're coming back up to to main road. Sea Breeze, a lot of people checking into Sea Breeze resorts. Ice cream, ice cream man, still working away. Sandy got a, a real bag and an ice cream shop yesterday. 10p for an orange lolly. And it was really nice as well, wasn't it? Yeah. 10p. So you could treat all the family to an ice lolly, even me, and get still get changed for a pound. Cars for rent, bikes for rent. Go as most affordable internet. Speeds are up to 300 Mbps, wherever that is. Right, we'll go, we're going to go down here now. All these restaurants here, because there's no parking, they all provide a valet parking service for the customers. So these will be people drop, dropping off of the restaurant. Thank you. There we are. So that's a busy, busy tomato up in there. Radio 15 Sports Bar. Enjoy IPL free live streaming. Quite busy. Got cricket on mainstream. All the lights and the balloons all around. And they do rooms as well, you can stay here. Fish. And fish. Lobster. Little uh, Christian shrine there. 
I think there must be maybe the highest percentage of Christians in Goa. Maybe because of, I don't know, the Portuguese thing. There's loads of churches and you see these roadside crosses with like statuettes of Jesus. No, only way to explore. Right, so we're going to go across here and get some pop to set back. I did think about buying some kingfisher today to have in the fridge, and I thought, no, there might not be a bottle opener in the apartment. I don't know if there is or there isn't. But it's only because it's been so hot, I just wanted that first quenching beer. Ultra. Oh, this is Annapurna. Right, we get some bottles of pop. That man's got a t-shirt saying grateful on it. Grateful. India, India flags on all the cars and motorbikes. Can we go after this one? Yeah, let's go. Watch out, dog. At least I'm not going to walk over here this time. Different dog. Right. right, so we've got two large bottles, two litre bottles of... I think it's called Lime, Limea or Limeica or something like that. Really nice anyway. And a bottle of Fanta Orange. So three two litre bottles. They're 100 rupees each, so about 90p for Fanta, large Fanta Orange. We just go back, back to back to Fisherman's Cove. Lane, which is where our apartment is, situated a couple of hundred yards down here. I think I've already been down here with a video, I'm not sure, during the daytime. I like a karaoke singer on there, don't they, sometimes? Yeah. Vocalist. That's the kitchen or washing up area for the Fisherman's Cove. Plenty of, st plenty of staff and plenty of customers. So I must have a bit of a good name. That's the lemon tree candle in. I think, yeah, I think again I've, I've shown this lemon tree is where we stayed in Jaipur, where the hotel, the whole of the hotel has lemon air fresheners in operation and the rooms all smell lemon. It's lemon soap, lemon hair gel and everything's lemon. This is great. Coming down now by the banyan tree. <laughs> Look, we'll finish there. Can't see me now, can you? I'll have to wait till I get outside the shop. Let's have a look. All these complexes, they all have like security gates and security guards. So it's nice. That was a shop there just behind me that we use a bit. And then we've got a. Uh, Hair cutting saloon here, hair cutting, head massage, face massage, hair colour. So. What time is it, main place? Do you know roughly? I don't mean you to look at your phone or anything, but do you know what time it is roughly? Uh, <laughs> Right, so, hello, I am here, sweating my cobs, and it's half past seven in the evening, and we're just heading back to the, almost at the gates now of the complex, so I'll turn the camera off, you can't see me, I know, but dodge her out. <laughs> 